Why rappers need streamers? It's to say that live streamers like Kai Sinat and others are making careers. Kai Sinat streamed the new 106 in part. Oh, I've seen this tweet from Corday is for rappers well odds are your answer is yes but maybe by the end of the video your perspective changes a bit what's going on bro? Wait, what's good little baby uh, I, I i was just told to call you nice to meet you brother um i'm a huge fan he doesn't even know little baby <laughs> streamers are the new biggest thing to get in touch with the youth and rap media even drake knows this i got a lot I see all the W's dropping, like, that's, that's a lot, right? That's a lot of love, you know what I mean? I watch, I always watch the listening sessions. Yeah. I see a lot of dubs dropping, so I appreciate it. As far as back to uh, I know nobody else can say it, so I appreciate it. Richard, and you rappers, and they all stream? Nah, facts. Bro, appreciate that, bro. That's crazy for the whole community, bro. That's fire, bro. Streamers are the biggest press outlet at the moment. They can create a lot of buzz and hype for any artist or Isn't guy allergic to dogs? Streamers are the biggest press outlet at the moment. They can create a lot of buzz and hype for any artist or event that they feature on their platforms. Even a streamer reacting to a song can do a lot for an artist, good or bad. If you want to see how much power a live streamer like Kai has, look no further with Glorilla's song, Cha Cha Cha. cha, -cha, -cha. Dude, cha, -cha, -cha. This drill song takes heavy inspiration from DJ Casper's Cha Cha Slide and samples the 1975 song Bambougie. The video, from first glance, looks pretty good, but click the video and you can see the dislike to like ratio. In the comments are ruthless, all because of this guy. And you can see the dislike to like ratio. What they say in, in the, the comments, com bro said we staying in the hood with this one. No auto tune, no crazy visuals, no grass writers, just straight ass. Comments are ruthless. <laughs> Songs like this is the reason that it's like what it can never be removed. Kai is the reason I'm here. Glorilla is the reason I'm leaving. <laughs> All because of this guy. Uh, bro, do you see the video of uh, Glorilla shit? I hope Glorilla not taking no hard feelings, but the cha cha cha. You know what I mean? Uh, it's shit. You know what I mean? Glorilla is nice, but that was not it. Dang. 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 You feel me? We'll talk about that later on in the video. So when saying rappers need streamers, right out the gate, that's a bold statement that will probably get you looked at as crazy. I mean, you could argue streamers need rappers. I mean, Kai dresses like one to fit that image and appeal to the general audience when he's with the rapper. But when you get tweets like this, well, mm. it does look like rap rappers are desperate. This is really good. I feel like I could just talk to you about anything. Oh, well, I'm glad I make you feel comfortable. You do. You really do. You're really... Damn. Well, you're very... Yeah, I'm gonna just say, your voice is so hot. Thanks. No worries. What the fuck? Before we get into the meat and potatoes of all this, we need Sneaky to do Neon. a quick dive Bro, into how we got to this point of rappers coming into streams and using the live streamers platform to promote whatever they have going on. To the general public, Twitch is often streamers platform to promote whatever they have going on. Blueface, Sneeko, and Neon is a combo I never thought I'd ever see, bro. To the general public, Twitch is often seen as a platform primarily linked to live streaming video games. This is Which is just mind-boggling how we've gotten this far. Because Twitch was known for that. However, Twitch has changed over the years and expanded its content beyond gaming. It now includes various categories of live streams, such as just chatting streams where creators talk, socialize, or discuss various topics, as well as creative content, like making music, and many, many more. This is where Aiden Ross comes in. Aiden was among the first to change what it means to live stream on Twitch. Yeah, I, I was, yeah. Aiden's run in 2021 should go down in like live streaming history books, bro. Really like 2020, but really, I think 2021 was like probably peak Aiden streams, bro. It was to the point where like he was getting rappers on every single stream and then he'd like mess around and like do like the gay stuff with the rappers and like you didn't know how the rapper was going to react. So then it was like funny and stuff like, bro. And then he had speed in the crib with him too. Oh man, dude, that was, yeah. That was different. See, Aiden started as a broke gamer from Florida streaming games like GTA 5 and NBA 2K20. Typical live streaming shit. But sometime in 2020, Aiden got his big break by making videos with Bronny, LeBron's father, and it led to Aiden. said LeBron's father? Aiden meeting LeBron through Xbox chat. That is, that's facts. I seen this clip before I knew who Aiden was really. Bro. Which earned Aiden his first major viral moment. Good, bro. It's LeBron. 
<laughs> he said, is this LeBron? <laughs> ah, hold on, bro. What the... From there, he started hosting e-dates on his channel. Which nah, and this was like... This is when the internet, like... Bro, a lot of people started tuning in, bro. A lot of people started tuning in right here, bro. The e-dates, and then when he wasn't have, when he didn't have the e-dates going on, he had the rapping stuff going on, bro. Which opened his eyes to the possibilities of non-video game content. But there was something else going on, too, with Aiden. He had this persona of being zesty or... A bro, Aiden was so AO, bro. He's still AO now, but he's nowhere near as bad as he used to be, bro. Aiden used to be one of the most AO people on planet Earth, bro. A fruit cup or whatever. <laughs> you get it. In a nutshell, viewers liked it. Bro, oh, oh my gosh, bro. I remember whenever he did the Polo G, bro. Bro, that was a, bro, that prank was so stupid, Suck bro. It. On a gun. I mean, wait. What the f After that, it escalated quickly. He formed a close bond with Sheck Wes, and as his following continued upward in 2021, various rappers made appearances on air. Mind you, this is shit you wouldn't see on Twitch ever, so he would be getting hundreds and thousands of viewers on Twitch. Throughout 2020 and 2021, Aiden Ross's name was a consistent presence on hip-hop social media pages who posted his content without a second thought about its offensive nature. And it actually not only helped Aiden gain a following, but the rappers who needed to promote their music as well. And there was a shift happening. It seemed as if stream oh dude that rah, this right here is still one of the best fruit styles in general bro bro is rolling up as he's just made a whole bang she make it clap i got strap no uh, no uh. It seemed as if streamers weren't only meeting rappers in streams, but it was actually vice versa. Aiden told Adam22 in an interview on the No Jumper podcast, if a rapper that's not on like they used to be and they come onto my school, which is hot right now, right before they drop a single or a project, is perfect promotion. But Kai Sinat, on the other hand, was just a YouTuber who mainly made pranks and made videos with the group AMP, with no Twitch in sight. But in February 2021, he ventured into Twitch streaming, initially engaging his fan community with reaction videos and mainly part- yeah, yeah, 2021, yeah. Kai, Kai, like, ran through, like, the normal Twitch. Yo, what's up, Top? The normal, like, Twitch algorithm-ish. Because he didn't game. And I feel like now he's, like, kind of going in reverse, where, like, he's doing a little bit more gaming. But he's still, like, mainly reaction content. But he, he didn't game at all. Like, it was just straight reacts and e-dates and all types of like you know what i'm saying other stuff participating in the just chatting segment still youtube was his main focus at the time but it wasn't until kai started taking twitch a little seriously it's sooner rather than later he blew up in 2022 with him becoming popular it made it easier for him to oh my gosh for the firework war holy sh oh Track popular celebrities. Kai began including guests on his streams, including Bobby Shmurda, Lil Baby, Ice Spice, and 21 Savage, who helped him receive it, including Bobby Shmurda, Lil Baby, Ice Spice. Kai made the Nike Tech thing more popular than it should have, by the way. Kai made. I cannot make Nike Techs more popular, bro. Stop. Vice I can't, 21 Savage, I can't, I can't who helped him receive his highest bro. viewership at the time, 280,000 concurrent viewers at its peak. You see, Aiden was a pioneer of this wave of bringing in rappers to streams, but Kai took it to another level. The difference between Kai and Aiden bringing in rappers is, well, Kai, he, he's a nigga. <laughs> so he got more relatability when it comes to bring... <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But am I? Kai's combination of comedy, gaming, and music, specifically hip hop and R&B, forgot Kai had that Valorant arc. It's helped him grow into one of the most influential content creators for this generation. His streams, when it comes to bringing artists, are sort of like a cross between Jerry Springer, 106 and Park, and maybe iCarly. That's the best description. Before social media, artists had this mysterious vibe to them. But with the rise of social media, it has, in a way, shown how rappers really aren't what they seem. Take, let's say, NLE Choppa, for example. A rapper from Memphis, Tennessee, who raps about street life and blanking whoever. Without social media, I bet NLE will be looked at more as these niggas. Okay, maybe NLE is a bad example, but uh, let's try Blueface. When he came into the rap game, he was looked at as a goofy because of his offbeat rapping. But still, there was an element of him that made people take him seriously, at least when he was blowing up, which was his image. But with Blueface being in the limelight of social media constantly, it has slowly turned him from a good offbeat rapper to now being known as a corny baby daddy to Krishan Rock, and was formerly known as a rapper. Tell me Rex. if I'm lying. 
So what is the point of me saying all this? Well, the point is, rappers like this just can't stray away from it. They need to embrace it and be in the limelight, aka social media, as much as possible. Because if you don't, there's a chance that a rapper could fall off. That basically explains why artists nowadays are getting into controversial shit. Look at DDG, a rapper known for getting into controversial shit. <laughs> Yeah, he was broken into for him to get smacked. Yeah, I didn't believe this for a second, bro. I'm not gonna lie. If anybody actually believed this, I'm sorry. It's DDG we're talking about, bro. DDG is basically an actor, bro. Bro's been doing fake pranks for years, bro. This ain't nothing new. This whole thing was fake, but look at the engagement on social media. Nah, that's facts. The guys that broke into DDG Mansion dropped their POV. That was the weakest slap ever. They had to be scared or something. I know DDG mad as hell right now. 18.7 million? He gets into controversial stuff all the time and he knows about this. What? Remember these clips for later in the video. It's important. But the risk with that is that you can be looked at as corny after a while. Like I said before, the mysticness went out the window. And maybe a handful of rappers can pull off not relying on social media to stay relevant, like Cardi and the rest of Opium and Yeet, to name a few. And that's pretty impressive to do so in this day and age. And it's even more impressive since they are rappers who blew up in the social media age where everything comes and goes. What is something that rappers or a lot of rappers lack? Engagement. It's kind of shocking to see rappers like DaBaby have 20 million followers on IG, but the engagement be ass. It's like a scam at that point. And it could be argued that the reason- Well, the engagement's ass, probably because people still think he's canceled, right? The reason for that is because rappers are only known for the two minute songs. And that's kind of it. Compared to live streamers and content creators, where fans watch them for a couple of hours minimum to 24 hours. I mean, look at the Google top search result. When Kai and Offset did a stream, Offset had a noticeable spike on social media platforms. He was the trending topic for the rap community that week. Hi. I got my eyes on you, Offset. Knows this. But chat, my thing. For me having guests on stream is not to just have guests on stream. I told I, I be telling them before everything I say, bro, I want this to be an opportunity for to, for them the music side of shit. The music side of shit is cool, but to display personality and facts. Display to the audience that we all, no matter what, no matter how successful get or how big things are. We all normal, bro. He was on that stream for 24 hours, and fans got to see a side of him that people never saw ever. He was smart on Offset's end and Kai's. With a guy like Kai Sinat who has a level of fame mm -hmm. capable of starting what the NYPD <laughs> would consider a riot, it's a no-brainer for an artist to get on the trend of hopping on his stream. These days, it takes a certain level of luck to become that mysterious artist and stay relevant. The world just moves faster now and attention spans are small. That's why you have so many artists breaking through and disappearing Facts. at the same damn time. Too much shit is at your face at once. A new rapper this, new rapper that, and all of a sudden it's like, damn, I haven't checked him or her in a while. Oh, Oh, he ain't doing so well in terms of views. He ain't selling arenas like he used to. What happened? You get the gist of it. It's come to the point where rappers are at their mercy when it comes to streamers reacting to their projects. They don't want the streamers to give them a bad review because the outcome of that can result in people not giving it a chance because they're basing it off of the streamer's reaction or it's just plain ass. Take Glorilla for example. Kai reacted to her song and didn't like it. No! This time. Don't come on my lab, ex. Blocks Kai because of his review? About nobody that I done block. You talking about? They blocked and they stay there. You made your bed, you gotta lay there. Wait! Bro, Glow, please. <gasps> I was wondering why I don't see Glow. She's making a marketing mistake and rethinks. I'm doing this one right now. I fuck around and unblock Kai. In yeah, hold on, Glorilla. You laid your bed, you better stay there. Oh. <laughs> That's stupid, bro. You you stay there. I didn't even know this happened. Hey, you laid your bed. What, babe? Go and goons respond and threaten Kai. What the fuck? Man, so bad, you gotta lay there. I look, she told me, calm down. I would be throwing some blimmers at you, nigga. What's some blimmers you finna throw? I come visit jails. I stop <laughs> nigga. <laughs> 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 but wait, why did like I get it, right? His opinion holds a lot of weight. 
But I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Maybe she genuinely thought the song was good, and then she like had to defend the song. Obviously, like, oh, why don't you like the song? Uh, I don't know. Just feel like going that far for it is a little much, but hey, you gotta do what Kai you gotta do. Kai, as of right now, is one of the most influential figures in the hip hop culture and in the online community. And Kai knows this, as he has confirmed that music labels are trying to use top streamers like him and popular but very controversial kick streamer neon to promote their artist's music to their audience the majority of what labels send me these days is kai their artist drops a song they only want me to post what kai said about or how kai turned up to the song so knowing that and i mean kai talked like and kai kai told he was honestly me say yo act yo they're offering me wild amount of money to even just do reactions but he's like i don't take it and i do think that's dope on on kai's part but there's a lot of pressure on him because now all of these rappers their entire market is hoping Kai Sinat reacts to their song favorably. And if he does, they all run with it. Yo, let everybody know that Kai turned up to the song or turned up to the album or likes this or like- That's so crazy, bro. Just like having that level of like influence that somebody's whole brand basically could be in the palm of your hand, bro. And you're just a regular dude just turning on Twitch and just watching a video, bro. But like, that's so crazy. Like that. Okay, if you still don't believe that music labels or rappers are paying streamers to interact with rappers for their own benefit, I want you to watch this clip of Neon interacting with Chicago rapper Lil Bibby. Uh, Lil Bibby? Yo, 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 what's good, my boy? Um, my, my child wants to say hi to you. Uh, show your face. Sounding American. What's going on, bro? Wait, is it Lil Bibby? What's good, Lil Bibby? Uh, I, I, I was just told to call you. Nice to meet you, brother. Um, I'm a huge fan. Um. Obviously, that was a paid sponsorship. I mean, Neon didn't even know who he was and proceeded to get back into character and say he was a big fan of him. Watch it again. Um, my, my child wants to say hi to you. Uh, show your face. Sounding American. What's going on, bro? Wait, is it Wait, is it Wait, is it <laughs> What's good, little baby? You know how hard it is to get little baby to do any press? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, by the way, I, you know, I know him. Like, man, we text, but <clears throat> baby don't want to be on camera for a month. Thing. But you gotta roll out new Juice World music. A lot of Neon fans are probably Juice World fans. Makes sense. What started out as a wholesome and just being relatable with rappers could soon very well be industry plants just popping up in streams and all the authenticity goes away. I think I must clarify that this doesn't have anything to do with the underground scene or alternative scene. I think it's still good even if they're going there for promotional purposes if they go on some like offset 21 Savage type shit like where 21 just literally came on stream and play 2K with Kai. Like, Kai versus 21 Savage playing 2K, right? But if they come on the stream and they're just there, not really doing anything or not really saying anything, that's, and there's like no real like showing of personality. They're just like watching videos. I mean, they're like talking about their music or something like that. Like, oh, I got something new dropping. Uh, freestyling. Like, that's when it's like, all right, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. This is some industry plan. Start spamming the Z's in the chat. You feel me? Like, this is. A... They've been thriving and will continue to thrive without the need to be on social media all the time. I'm talking about the rap caviar niggas. But who's to say that all this is a bad thing, though? Social media all the time. I'm talking about the rap caviar. Who's on rap caviar right now? Ooh, it's a good song. Lupol, I tease Coney Island. This is a new album? I, I haven't heard this. I haven't heard this. T Grizzly dropped? I didn't even know he dropped. Also, Travis Scott. Uh, or this is, I heard this is a good song. I, I didn't actually listen to it yet. Our niggas. But okay. Who's to say that all this is a bad thing, though? Well, the title and tone of the video did suggest that, but. No. Both the streamer and the artist benefit from the interaction. Kai Sinat is bringing the hip-hop community to his streams, which gives him so many opportunities in the rest of the streaming community. On the other end, the artist who comes to his streams gets to show their personality for X amount of hours and be seen from a different angle rather than the typical generic mainstream music videos. With streaming slash content creation, you have infinitely more time to hone your skills for building an audience without rap capping about doing whatever. For years, rappers were looked at as the I want to be this when I grow up. It still is. Who wouldn't want to be? The lavish lifestyle that comes with it, interacting with your fan base, going on tour with thousands of people screaming your name and rapping the lyrics that you came up with bar for bar. It's amazing. Who would trade up for that? But now, with the rise of streamers and YouTubers, more people are shifting toward content creation, or it seems like it. Is it because of the so-called kids now dream of being professional YouTubers rather than astronauts that he finds? 
What? I mean, like, you gotta think about it, bro. Being an astronaut, bro, it takes like, years and years to be an astronaut. But even though I feel like being an astronaut in 2023 is cooler than being an astronaut in, like, 2005. I think being an astronaut is even cooler now. Because, like, we're closer and closer to being able to go to space. Like, more often. So, I think being in a being an astronaut is cooler now i just don't have aspirations of being an astronaut i'd want to go to space though i think going to space would be pretty dope oh first live stream from space stale place hip-hop is in who knows content creators are making more than rappers by far anyway even drake mentioned it in his song first person shooter or lil yachty who's close to streamers like bruce drop him off and kai sinat he recently said that streamers make more than 90 percent of rappers kai for sure got more money than i think 90 percent rappers 90% of rappers, I think I got them. Same though, Aiden, yeah, they're 100%. Aiden too. Years ago, this content creating was looked at as corny, and probably still is, but not as much as before, with pioneers like Aiden Ross changing what it means to stream. But with Kai, he did indeed take it to another level. The 24-hour streams with Offset, doing a one-month stream and bringing rappers on, in jail. This is something very new, and who knows how far it can go. It's why you see rappers doing other shit like podcasting. Shout out Lil Yachty, even though I'm not even bigger than him, but he's been killing it with that. It is crazy, though, that, I mean, look, look, I'm not taking anything away from Kai, right? But we have so many other, like, so many streamers, though, that do, like, big events and everything. But for some reason, that's on, like, the opposite side of the internet. Like, the Pogger side, I'm talking about. Like, uh, what's his face? Um, uh, jerk. Bro, what's the dude's name, bro? He be doing, like, the big events and everything. He had that whole, like, live studio with the house and everything. I can't remember his name. But, like, events like that. Then you got Kitty and Ludwig doing their stuff. Like, bro, there's huge events, huge stuff going on. And it's just crazy that, like, Kai's the biggest name. in like an untapped market basically because like there's so many people on the pogger side that are doing stuff like this so it's crazy that you could just bring the pogger stuff to wrl and then people are like oh my gosh look at this new innovative idea it's just kind of funny though like i don't know like i'm not hating it and obviously like i i like i'm i i like i would like to think that i'm a teeter-totter like i can kind of delve into both sides that podcast like stuff even nle chapa he knows the ins and outs of content creation he, he has a thriving youtube channel where he vlogs his life and does pranks here and there in today's music landscape rappers are branching out into content creation like podcasting and streaming because it's become more than just about the music it's about staying relevant and connected those who don't explore these avenues risk losing touch with their audience in an industry where staying in the spotlight is crucial content creation has become a way for artists to evolve adapt and prevent themselves from fading into relevancy. Facts. That was a good video.